Hey guys, it's Chad. In this video, we're going to take a look at bypass doors and mosaic software. Stick around and let's figure out how these work. To start with, it's a download that I've created that's available at my web store. Retro Troll of Bypass Doors, this is version 1. You can see here, these are all set up right now with bypass doors. So, this is not something that's easily done in mosaic just out of the box so after you download it go up to your libraries go down to inserts two door sets three door sets four door sets there's dados only there's adding holes only Let's get into it. So let's take a look at this wall cabinet here. Make sure your face is on frameless inset and lock that. Just click that, lock it. And there's nothing in there yet, so let's put in an insert. Let's go to our new library, the Retro Trolla Bypass Doors. There's a couple things here to get out of the way, but for the most part, Trolla, the standard one, the ends are just go top to bottom. If you're going to have long tops and long bottoms, you'd use the Trolla long. And we'll get into that in a minute. So here we go. We got a two door cabinet and it's standard and it's a set because there's nothing inside. It's empty. Just drag that and drop it in. There we are. Parametric dados, holes. Let's pull in some parameters and take a look at this. This frameless for reveal mid has to be set at zero. So go to your doors, frameless reveal mid. And I got that at zero. That's probably gonna be an eighth inch. To change it to zero. Let's pull in our parameters now. In version one, there's 11. Press shift. Pull in these 11 Trolla parameters. The Trolla D is the depth of the bottom. So just keep an eye on that over there. Let's go four. Top, let's go four. Let's do the width of the bottom. Just go four, make it easy. With the top four. Distance, this is the guide set back. Distance from the bottom door back to the guide center. So the back of the door, the bottom to the center of the guide is that parameter. And I have the top and bottom separate, so control the guide set back. And trailer guide set back top. So this one here, let's put that at four. So you can see how that shifted back, the center of that to the back. Do the same for the top. Clearance, the clearance between the doors, let's make that to be, let's go 22. So everything shifts with that. The door overlay make that 22 and the holes adjust accordingly to keep the same spacing depth for 35 millimeter holes let's make that four just to see it wheel center let's make this four as well and then wheel center from the side let's go 45 Everything moves. Let's check one more thing here. Let's go to our info. Let's go to our materials, doors. Let's make this a thicker door so we can see that. Let's go to inch and a half thick. You see everything's parametric there. Data is all move accordingly. If we want to do an applied end, we would do 
go to our ends. This is a wall cabinet, so we'll go to long bottom wall, control long top wall, pull these in. So what we want to do here is turn these to yes. Ends have to go unfinished. Now what happens here is our insert needs to change because our our grooves don't go all the way to the end here or our doors don't go to the end here. So we need a different insert for this. And I want to show you like why you'd want to do this as well. So so we got our long top and long bottom. We're going to take a new approach here now to this style. Let's go to our ends again and adjust our sides here. I'll show you what we're doing. Looking at it from this way, it's the right edge adjustment. Let's go negative two. We're allowing some room for these doors to come past here. I'll show you. Adjust side, left side, we're looking at it from this way. There we go. And what would we want to do this? Well, maybe we want to have an applied door on the end. Do the same thing here. Applied door. We got a trolla long, long top and bottom, two door set. So there's one change that has to be made for that. We have to adjust for the end thickness. So let's go back into this real quick. Go to our face and adjust this. The left side. Adjust the right side. Uh -huh. There you go. So you could save that to your library and that would be set up, ready to go, parametric. Let's take a look at a couple other ones here now. We're in the two door section. Let's go to this one. This one here has got a shelf. Let's just, let's just go through some of the library here. Go to our inserts. This is a standard, or no, sorry, this is a, a long end. See I have the long bottom and long top on yes. So our interior, we need to go to our Troll a long version. Now we can't use a two door set because we have a shelf here. So let's go to our two door shelf, bottom. Oops, sorry. Two door shelf, top. There we go. Let's do the two door partition. This one here is a standard cabinet, you can see. Go to our inserts. It's a standard trolla. Let's go down to a two door partition. We've got a left and a right. We're going to drop it on the left side. I tried to name these and keep these as simple and easy to understand as possible. They're still kind of a long name, but it's hard to get the point across any other way. There we go again. It's parametric. So that's the two door. Let's look at a three door. And this one here again is, it has the long top and long bottom, unfinished ends. This one has an applied door on the end that has shortened ends to allow for legs. So it's kind of cool. This one here is long again, so we'll go to the three door and we can do a set, drop that in. 
and again we're good to go so let's look at a three door the shelf and we're doing three door and we got a shelf so we're gonna grab the shelf one the bottom drop it in grab the shelf top drop it in here's a four door cabinet it's the standard end so we'll go trolla four door set drop that in and everything's parametric there if you look at one of these inserts one thing you'll notice is the diameter is not parametric it's not able to be in version 13.07 or whatever this is this could probably change in the future but almost all these wheels are 35 millimeters so here's one kind of unique one here how would you do this one so this is a standard cabinet let's go to our inserts doing the standard trolla so on this one we got a partition and we got a shelf so we can't do anything standard so to say we're going to bring in a custom one here so on you got to think in openings so and left right top and bottom so we have a a two door opening here or I should say an opening with two doors here so let's go to the Trolla custom 2 bottom left front you can see that picture there pull that in and you can see what the right side will be it's to be accustomed to bottom right rear now the top's a little trickier because I got a long thing there so I could I have to use the shelf because I want to do four doors on this so I'm going to do the shelf top four door shelf top and if I pull something in that's not right it's gonna throw a flag up here and it's gonna say something's off the part so just keep your eye out if you drop the wrong insert in it'll let you know right away if it's if something's not fitting right four-door partition that's pretty straightforward four door long control along four door partition left and right let's do this one here this is another custom one so we'll just go through the motions here again this is standard ends so we'll go trolla and we can't do anything one click so let's do a custom can't do the custom one we have two doors in this opening do a custom two again bottom left front bottom right rear custom two top left front custom two top right rear there it is over here a cabinet like this sandwiched between two standard full overlay cabinets kind of gives you a neat opportunity for bypass doors in the middle of a wall here like this let's turn on the doors again let's pull that cabinet out so you can see these are miter fold panels this is a standard frameless and you can see how this front notched back let's open this up and look at it here so just like we've been doing got the long top and bottom turned on 
And this gives you the opportunity to run a panel right alongside there to give it that custom built-in look. So, pretty cool. One thing maybe I'll show you here is our adjustment to our, our reveals here. So, let's go to our doors. We're going to be using inset reveal for our gapping. And everything's parametric, so if I want a 3 16 gap there, I just turn that on. If I want, let's just go a half. You can see I got a half inch gap there and there, but everything else stays tight. Everything else is parametric to that reveal or parameter, I should say. So you can dial in your margins just the way you want them and everything stays copacetic. So let's take a look at actually how we do this, how we build one of these cabinets. Like I said, we're starting off with a frameless cabinet. We're going to change our face to an inset construction type, change a cabinet and lock it and it'll stay like that. Save it to your library. So you're going to change that and then we'll go through some of the things you, you would do to set it up. So, so right at our face section here, let's go to this and just go to the section split. Make this two doors for starters. I'm going to take the hinges and turn those off. Now you can see what we got there. We have our, our inset reveal dictating that margin. And our frameless reveal mid is turned to zero, so that door is tight. So there's a couple things that I've made notes of here that you can just screenshot or it'll come in the download. So we got this, we got this set to zero, the mid. Our inset reveal needs to be what your, your reveal needs to be for your track and wheels. We're at 3 16 Let's set our ends right here. So we have to adjust our ends. So that's the inset reveal parameter. So for standard ends, that adjusts the door sides tight. Let's go to our face again. Click adjust down here. Click the door, click adjust. Go to our left side. We're going to type in inset reveal. Copy that if you'd like. It should be 3 16 And we'll just leave the middle for now. So that's tightened up. Do the same thing for the right side. Adjust the right side. Paste. Oops. And that's tightened up. Now our middle, to make the middle work parametrically, we set any overlays to this parameter, Trolla door overlay divided by two. So that is the magical parameter to keep everything overlaying properly. So let's go back into this door again. Click adjust. And now we're going to set, we're on the right side, but we're setting the left side here. Trolla, oops. That's going to be, it's only on a 16th. My overlap is an eighth, so it's doing half and half. So you probably want more than an eighth, but that's what I'm set at right now. So. So my left side went to a 16th. Press OK. Do the same for the right side. There we go. So you can see we got some overlay there, but our doors are budding. So let's fix that. To create our inset, we have a parameter of our door parameter thickness is door thickness 
then we're going to add our user parameter, the Trolla door gap. So the Trolla door gap here is the clearance between the bypass doors. We're at a quarter now, so what will happen is we're going to have our door thickness plus the gap will get about an inch. So let's add this up, go back to our interior. Now let's just set, doesn't matter which one we set, let's set the right side back. Go to inset, door thickness, plus trolla, door gap, test it, one inch, and there we are. So the only thing we, the only thing we need now is to add the insert. And that is set up. One thing I will say, I guess, before I forget, is you can click equal door widths for these pairs of doors, and that seems to work well. Once you get into the three door, four door, or more cabinets, the equal door widths doesn't seem to really work because of the parametric overlays, it seems like. That could change in an update, but what we'll do is we'll add the insert and we have a two door cabinet here. Control a two door set. And there we are. Back to the races. So, what we have to do to do our long ends is I'll show you that next, but what you would do here is just change this. Just say this to your library if you want to have a standard setup, two door. The next thing we do is we would modify this for long ends. So let's do that real quick. Let's turn on our long ends. And that runs past as long as our ends are set, are set to unfinished, which they are now. And let's adjust this so they, they run past like they should. Let's go to our shape tab. Go to the right side. Let's go to negative two. Give us some room. Left side. And there we go. So there's two things we have to do now just to keep this correct. back to our face. The first thing is, I'll show you here, back here at my notes. Before we set inset reveal at standard ends on our door. For long ends, we set inset reveal plus unfinished end thickness. We have to gain that thickness. So let's click on the door, press adjust, Go to the left side, plus U N thickness, it should be 15 sixteenths, yep. And see how that goes over the side. Do the same for the other side. And there we are. The only difference is now we don't have the right insert in there. So you can see, I mean, you could, I guess you could use this, but the problem is you would probably want to have these grooves go all the way to the end for a cleaner look to butt into your side. And the other reason is it's set up for the holes to be parametric with the other insert. So with this insert, you wouldn't have the same distance. So we'll just add the other insert. Troll a two door set. Let's clear that. Let's go to troll along. We got long top and bottom. So troll along two door set. Drop it in. And there it is. Everything's ready to go. 
So what I do, I would just go ahead and save this to your library. Let's take a look at this three door cabinet. I guess we can leave our ends off. Just clear it out real quick. And so on this, we have basically one door per opening. So this one has standard ends on it. You can see there's, they're not running long, so that's standard. Let's go to our Trolla, standard Trolla. And we have to use the custom one, because this is a custom cabinet. Let's go to the custom one, because we got one door we're trying to perform here. The grooves are always going to go to the end. Unless you grab one of these special ones that have the opening widths. You can do the dados opening widths. It's kind of a just unique thing there. Troll a custom one. There we go. And then we let's do the custom one bottom right. Let's do the custom one, or let's do the custom one. Yeah, top left front. Top right rear. And now we're going to add the, the holes for the center door. So let's go down to holes. Yeah, let's go to the holes top. And holes bottom. Obviously we can't do top and bottom because there's a shelf there. So that's how you accomplish that. So how does the face work on this kind of a cabinet? Let's just take a look at it here. The adjustments on this are a Trolla door overlay divided by two. Same thing. So that's because it's an overlay. So this other one's going to be the same thing here. The right side the Trolla door overlay divided by two and the left side is going to be the inset reveal. So <clears throat> if this was a long cabinet, we'd have that inset reveal plus the unfinished end thickness. So. Door thickness plus the Trolla door gap is our inset. Remember on this center one now, there's no inset. On this one here, the same inset, door thickness plus Trolla door gap. So, and again, it doesn't matter which orientation you put these in. If you want this center one set back. So this cabinet here, let's take a look at this here. This stretches. Everything works. Everything's good. What I want to get at is the right and left now. So let's let's look at it here. Look at our face. Let's go to millimeters. 285, 9, 285, 9, 25. These are all equal. So let's just try. Let's check something here. I got a locked width on there, locked width on there. And that's not locked, so I can't. Let's try to unlock this. You can kind of imagine what will happen if I if I move this, but let's just try it. That's what happens. So that's the only bummer right now is these don't seem to want to automatically adjust because of the, the door adjustment for more than two doors. But it's not a big deal. You can just go into this face, try to make sure you're at your, your final, uh, final width before you adjust this, but let's bring in your calculator here. You got 211.3 plus 333.5, oops, sorry, plus 333.5. Point five plus 
212.8 divided by 3, 285. I'll copy that. Just hit the left door first. Paste that in, press enter, grab that door, paste and enter. So there we go, that's all back to normal again. And everything's back and locked where it should be. So that's how it works for three doors, four doors. Let's go out with a bang. So how do we do something really custom? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't seen the LED insert library I created, but it'll do the LED light strips. It'll do shelf lighting. It'll do shiplap grooving or vertical grooving, nickel grooving. How can we do this all in one cabinet? Let's take a look and I will clear this out and we'll start over. So we got this all cleared out here. There's no inserts in here. And this is a cabinet that has the long top and the long bottom. This side I added an, added an applied door so you can see the difference there. What we'll do now is we're gonna go ahead and just fill this thing out. Let's take a look at how we do this with inserts and mosaic. So first thing we're gonna probably do here is, there's a few there, a few different ways we could do this, but let's go to our inserts. It likes to start in the bottom left. This is a long cabinet, so long ends. They're long top and bottom. Troll along. I only have one opening here, so I'm going to go to Troll Along Custom 1, bottom left front. But I don't want to do that yet because I want to use this opening. So first thing we'll do is we're going to split the opening separator. And then we'll add that. Troll along custom one. What that will do is run that groove all the way down to the end here. Turn the doors off for a moment. And then we'll just shrink this up. The height is at six. Let's shrink that opening to zero. Enter. Insert still there. I want to show you something now. You can still, with the zoom on this, this is great. You can still click that separator, pull it up, and access this. If you want to clear it, pull it out. Whatever you want to do, you can zoom back out real quickly. But we'll keep it where it was. Let's go back down to zero. There we go. Our bottom's in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Separator. Long custom, bottom right. Now I got two grooves. Make that zero. I think what we'll do right now is just do the top as well. Do the same for this side, custom one, top left, front, and I got top right rear. I should say the last thing we're going to do is run vertical grooving in the back. So I need to keep these bottom panels open to do that. So I'm kind of thinking from the end to the beginning here. So if you haven't seen the LED video, check it out. But the vertical groove is run from the bottom to the top. So we probably should just finish up our our holes and our drilling while we're in here. So let's go ahead and we're going to add a split here, a separator, and let's do our bottom holes here. Holes only bottom. Let's do the same thing here. Split it. Separator. Holes only top. And again, I probably didn't need to split that one, but 
I did. So let's shrink it up just because we did that. This one we're going to definitely need to shrink up to zero. There we go. We got our holes. We got our grooves. We got bypass doors. So now let's get creative here. Let's close this out. Open our LED library. We'll split this again. And if you haven't seen the LED video, check it out. Maybe I'll put a link to it. So on this one, we are doing, we're in a frameless cabinet. This library is retro LED and shiplap. And it has face frame and frameless cabinet setups here. We're going down, this is a wall cabinet, so we're going down to the frameless wall section. And we're doing the hay flow, let's do the bus bars, the left side here. Drag that, drop it in. It's going to run up the side of the cabinet. Let's turn off the doors here. <clears throat> it's going behind the shelf, that's fine. That's what we want. Shrink that to zero. Oops, I just did the wrong thing there. Let's shrink the width to zero. And there it is. Just do the right side. Separator. Go into the frameless wall. Hey, for the bus bar right. Looking good. Go zero. Let's do it on these partitions as well. We'll split this again. This is going to be the left side now. Hafula BBL. There we are. Make it zero. We'll just split this one. Sorry. Hey, pull a BB right. Make it zero. And sometimes this happens, it'll disappear. You just got to give it a little tiny bit of room. Zero, let's say, let's go to 0 0.02. Two, that should do it. There we go. So we're back there. We got it now. Separator, left side, bus bar left. Shrink to zero. Let's try that. And we're good. We got one left here, guys. Split, separator, hey for the bus bar right. I think we'll have to do this with a little margin again, so we'll try zero. Nope. So we'll zero point zero zero two again. And that pulls that back up. So so there we are. And I have these shelves turned on, the custom parameter was on, I've already played with this a little bit. So you can turn those shelves off, turn them back on. Last thing we got to do here is add some, uh, some grooves in the back of this cabinet, so let's do that. Let's go to our inserts again, we'll split this with a section split. And we're just going to go three sections, the separator. A couple ways we can do this now. Um, in this catalog, the ship lab is all at the bottom. We're not doing ship lab because that would be horizontal, but you could do. You have to change this setup, setup now, but we're doing this for vertical right now. Let's go to frameless wall, vertical center line. That's going to put it on the center of the line. The mid is going to put it in the middle. If I did the mid here, it'd do a, a groove here, here, and here. 
center line is going to be closer to equal spaces. So you drop these in on the left side and it sticks to the right. There you go. Same thing again. Three separators. Do the same thing here. Vertical center line. Vertical center line. That's all there is to it. Well, there it is. If you think you can find any use for this kind of thing, check it out. It's pretty easy to set up. So, along that line, let's take a look here. These are the parameters we talked about. When you download it from the website, you'll get a, a JPEG picture of these parameters and some notes on how to set this up. So, real easy to do. Once you download it, you're just going to go to your Mosaic shared files. I'll show you real quick here. Go to your Mosaic shared files, go to your insert libraries. You're just going to copy and paste it and drop it in here and it's going to land right there. It'll show up here in your libraries, inserts, right there. The only other thing you have to do then is just go to your libraries and products. Choose a library you want to use this for, probably a frameless one. Go to your parameters, go to other. And you're going to add that. You're going to add these parameters here. If you move something up, don't worry about it. Just select it, edit it. You can edit the name, you can edit the description. No big deal. After you add these 11 parameters in version 1, just click Save As, and it'll ask you to save it, and you'll just say, yep, you can save it as your blind dado, or you can change this name here to Trollo Bypass, and uh, save it as that. So, super easy to use. You guys let me know if you have any questions. This has been a long time coming. A lot of work to figure this out. And uh, until next time, guys, hit that like button. Tell your friends about it.